Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we'll be discussing example 2.8 about uh, con convolution integral uh, from chapter number two of Mr. Oppenheim's book on signals and systems. And this is on the request of a student. Okay, so let's see the question. So this is the, uh, are the example 2.8. Let y denote the convolution of the two signals. So these are the two signals, and their convolution is y. So we have to calculate or find y and plot it. That is the question. So the first of all, let's plot these two signals. And since there is a u minus t, so let's recall that u minus t means the signal has value 1 on the left of 0 towards the negative side, and it has a value 0 towards the right hand side of 0. So with this in mind, we'll first draw xt. Now, xt will be 0 for t greater than 0. That means in this region, because it is multiplied by 0, so the answer will be 0. And it will be 2t for t less than 0. That means in this region where u minus t is 1, so u 2t multiplied by 1 will be e raised to the power 2t. And now we take a couple of values of t to calculate x t. So this is when t is equal to 0, it is 1, then t is equal to minus 1, t is equal to minus 2. So these are the values, and you can see that it is going down gradually and in a non-linear fashion. So the plot will look like this, starting from 0 and going down in a exponential manner. Then we come to uh, ht. Now ht is simple, it's a unit step function, but some people get confused where to start. Is it will you start from the left side or right side? So there's an easy way. You equate this equal to zero. So two t minus three equal to zero means t is equal to plus 3. That means we start from plus 3. So our plot will be like this. Before plus 3, it is 0. And after plus 3, its value is 1. So this is ht. Now I follow a couple of steps. I have written this. This is primarily, this was written for the uh, finite signals, but equally applicable to infinite signals. Now this signal is infinite signal because this limit is going to infinity. This is also going to infinity. So the first step is to change the scale from t to tau. And this is actually done because subsequently we'll be using t as a variable. Therefore, we want to change this variable t to tau. So wherever there is t, we write tau. tau. That was first step. The second step is that flip one of the signals around zero axis. So we either flip this one or we flip this one. This is easier looking, so it is better that we flip this one. And moreover, it will come towards the left hand side, and then it will be easy to do the multiplication. So we flip the signal. So this will now be called h minus tau. This was h tau. This will be h minus tau. x tau remains same. No change. So that is second step. Now in the third step, move the flip, flip signal to the left to get x t minus t. So if we move this signal towards further left uh, to a point t, so we move this to a point t, this probably is t, where our variable minus t minus 3 will now become t minus 3. 
So the simple way is to that you just add T everywhere. So add T here, add T here. So this is the uh, signal move to a point T. And now comes the uh, uh, real understanding part. I put it in a dashed uh, box. This is only for understanding. You don't have to write in your exam or your questions, but just for understanding. We know this is the formula for the convolution. That is xt and ht minus tau. Our xt is here and ht minus tau is here. So we have to multiply them first of all. So estimate the value of the product. So if you see, we, we have to multiply and estimate the limit of the area under the curve. So, or the limit of integration. So let's see, you know, from here it is zero. So actually the working area is this one. So if we put a box, so this is our working area. The signal e raised to the power two tau will now be multiplied by one. Okay, so the product is e raised to the power two tau because that it has been multiplied by one, so e raised to the power two tau. And what is the limit? We starting from minus infinity, and we end at uh, either at this point or we can say at this point. Now this point, this line, is not defined. We are not sure what is the value here. But we know for sure that this is t minus 3. So our one limit was minus infinity, the other limit will be uh, t minus 3. So we'll use this limit in this subsequent uh, slide for solving the question. Then what we do is we pull this signal, we pull this signal as if it is on a wheel towards this side, and we pull till such time we see a change. Okay, so we we pull up to let's say zero. After this zero line, there will be change. So just uh, you can say zero minus up to that point we have pulled it. Now here again we draw a box. What is the overlap? This is the overlap, and it has the same value. This is one all the way multiplied by x t. So we'll get the same result. That is the multiplication is e to minus tau. And what is the limit? You see the t, t minus three has come up to this point moved here. So the limit also remains same. So the same limit. Okay, the next point is that we pull it further towards the right. So pulled it further, it exceeded or crossed the zero line. And now what is the multiplication area? Now remember, now this is zero here. So this we cannot use because one multiplied by zero will be zero. So our area is still, this is the area. And multiplication will remain same because this is one multiplied by xt. So this remains same. The only change will be in the limit. Now the limit we had started earlier from minus infinity. So here also it will be minus infinity. What is the second limit? What is the upper limit? Now the t minus three has gone beyond uh, our overlap. So the upper limit will be, we take this zero or this zero, so zero. And therefore, the integration limit in the third case will be minus infinity to zero. So with this knowledge, now let's go to the solution. Okay, yes, one more thing. This is valid for t less than zero. When uh, this t, t, uh, t minus three, sorry, t minus three less than zero. This is also valid for t minus three less than zero. But this one is valid for t minus 3 greater than 0. t minus 3 has crossed. So keep this in mind as well. 
Okay, now for t minus 3 less than 0, like here, we found out that the product is e raised to the power 2 tau. So the convolution integral becomes, we calling it y, uh, y1 t. This was the integration limit we saw in the last slide, negative infinity to t minus 3. And this is the value 2 tau multiplied by d tau. And then we can integrate this. So integration of e raised to the power 2 tau will be 1 over 2 e raised to the power 2 tau. And the, we put the limit. Then plugging in the value of the limits for tau now t minus 3 from here minus uh, this limit. And we know that e raised to the power minus infinity is actually 1 over infinity, which is equal to 0. So this term becomes 0. So what is left is this term. So this is y1t. Now for t minus 3 greater than 0, that is when we have crossed this area, we have v Already in the previous slide, we found that the value remains same, e raised to the power 2t. Only the integration limit changes. So the integration limit changed from minus infinity to 0. So we'll now integrate this. Same way, only the limit changes. And e raised to the power 0 will be, uh, first one, e raised to the power 0, which is equal to 1. And the second is e raised to the power minus infinity. This will be 0. So our answer is 1 over 2. e raised to the power 0 is 1. So this is our answer. So these are the two values of uh, y. And now we need to plot. Okay, for t less than 0, this was the value. And for t minus 3 greater than 0, this was the value. Now from here, we can uh, just manipulate this. t minus 3 less than 0, this implies that t is less than 3. So we mark a point here at plus 3. Similarly, in this case, t minus 3 greater than 0 implies that t is greater than 3. So again, we'll be talking about on this region. Now for this one, if we put various values of uh, uh, t starting from t is equal to 3. So at t is equal to 3, it is half. Then at t is equal to 0, it is this value. Then it is t is equal to minus 3 very, very low value. Now, you can see that this is decreasing very rapidly. So the plot will look like this. Starting from 3, at 3 it is half. And then as we going left, 0, then minus 3, this is decreasing uh, exponentially. So this was the plot for the first part. The second part is constant, half, and this is after t greater than 3. So in this region, it will be half. We are already at this point is half. So we just draw a line here. So this is our final plot. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. If you found it useful, share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.